In today's video, if you work out for more than 13 minutes, you're wasting your time. Hey guys, what's going on? This is Paul Rivella from ProPhysique.com. Today's video is going to be a little different. We're going to talk about some new research that came out and we're going to rant a little bit. Might see a little bit of angry Paul. And here's why. So when it comes to fitness myths or ideas, a lot of people like to read headlines. And the people that make the headlines like to make those headlines say whatever the hell they think will help get them more views. Like the research that came out a few years ago that said, hey, dark chocolate is good for you. If you drink a glass of wine per day, it's better than working out. So what has happened in those situations is they've taken the data and they've twisted it so that, yeah, if you look at it from one perspective, that's true. Though it's not true because what they're looking at and what we are looking at Two different things. And so I have a great example of that. So yesterday I was perusing through an article on MSN, which is a pretty major website, right? So there's a lot of people that are going to view this. And it said, if you work out for more than 13 minutes, well, you're wasting your time. And I thought, well, that's interesting because I haven't worked out for 13 minutes in my entire life. They're always more than 13 minutes. So I've been wasting a lot of time over the last couple of years. So I dug a little further and I clicked on the link and I'll put it all here for you guys and I'll link it below. And lo and behold, this was a study that was managed by Brad Schoenfeld, someone who I hold in the utmost regard, as well as Brett Contreras and others. And so I was immediately like, wait a second. This was a study done by these gentlemen and the finding was that you don't need to work out for more than 13 minutes. Well. I read the article on MSN and when I got to the part where it says, so you do not need to work out for more than 13 minutes unless your goal is to add more muscle. Really? Why else are we going to the gym? That's the only reason any of us are going to the gym is to add muscle and improve our body composition. How many people are going to the gym with the only goal to get stronger? Really? So here's the gist of the study. They had three groups, a group that trained one set to failure, three sets to, set to failure, five sets to failure. It's linked below, you can read it. Well, as you would guess, the group, and they did this for eight weeks, and the group that trained the most sets gained the most muscle. The group that trained the least sets gained the least muscle. Now, the one thing that was constant across them was they all gained roughly the same amount of strength. Well, why would that be? Well, for an eight week study for people that have never been pushed as hard as they would be pushed in a study that was conducted of this manner where the workouts were actually monitored, you see people don't actually train to failure. They don't actually push themselves. So for an eight week period, what you're getting there is a lot of neural adaptation. Yes, you're getting a little bit of hypertrophy, but the strength adaptations that are occurring from the one set, they're not gonna continue like that forever. We already know that a bigger muscle is a stronger muscle. So it would stand to reason over the longer term, you cannot continue to work out for 13 minutes and continue to make progress that you would in the first eight weeks. We're all familiar with how things go when we're a beginner, when we get introduced to a new stimulus. And here's where I get angry because someone that's not familiar with this research study would read that headline. Someone that's not familiar with the science would read that headline and then they would say to someone like me, man, I read you only need to spend 13 minutes in the gym to make the same amount of progress as somebody that spends an hour in the gym. What do you think about that? And myself with no context would say, well, you're freaking crazy. I don't know what you're talking about. Where do you get your information from? Oh, I saw it on MSN. It's the same thing when I'm leaving the grocery store and I see something that says, Lose 27 pounds in the next 30 days. Just make this one quick change to your breakfast, right? And that's the kind of thing that grabs attention. And unfortunately, the things that grab attention are not things that actually get results. One set is not as good as five sets if your goal 
is to build muscle. And that should be the story. That's what it should say. It should not say you don't need to work out for 13 minutes. All right, guys, that's going to be it for me today. Hopefully, this ranty video is right up your alley. Uh, if not, well, I'll get back to answering questions tomorrow. But today, I don't know. This one just, just stuck with me. So I'm probably going to call this video something like 13 minutes or you're wasting your time. Maybe the people that read the article will find the video and kind of get the gist. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get this stuff sorted out. All right, guys, you have an awesome Tuesday. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Oh, I'm a